challenge you face today makes you stronger tomorrow. The challenge of life is intended to make you better, not bitter. A tele reminder from Tele Radio Marcelo, ang tele aralan ng bawat malulenyo. Makinig, manood, nasa teleradyo Makinig, manood, nasa teleradyo Teleradyo, teleradyo Marcelo Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid sa kakibat ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo kahit magkalayo sa programang ito tiyak ang pagkatuto Teleradyo Teleradyo Marcelo Teleradyo Tele uh, Good afternoon everyone especially to the active listeners of Teleradyo Marcelo ang telearalan ng bawat malulenyo Before we proceed to our topic, uh, let's have some recap or review of what we had discussed last meeting with Sir Paulo. So yung mga idea nyo about last meeting, pwede nyo i-comment down dito pag nakita nyo. Tingnan natin. Recap or review, no? Parts of a badminton racket. Di ba last meeting, diniscuss ni Sir Paulo yan? Yung mga parts ng badminton racket. Naaalala ba? Lalo na yung mga hindi naka-attend. Siguro sa G-Class, meron naman nun. Parts of a badminton racket. Magpapakita ko dito ng picture. Pakicomment down yung idea o your answer nyo kung anong part ng badminton racket yun. Okay tayo doon. Okay. First picture. May tinuturo ng araw. Anong parts ng badminton racket? Comment your answer or chat down your answer. Sige, tingnan natin kung sino makakakuha. Review pa lang to tayo ha. Ito yung diniscuss last meeting. So yung mga hindi nakatend, medyo bago sa kanila to. Anong parts ng racket ito? Badminton racket sa tingin nyo? Comment down your answer or idea. Anong bang parts ng badminton racket to? Okay, let's see kung sino mga nakakalala pa, no? Tingnan natin. Anong part to ng badminton racket? Okay, sabi dito, grip daw. Sabi ni Riza, grip. Okay, thank you. Yung iba, yung iba kaya, ayan, dumadami na sila. Si Sandra De La Cruz, grip. Ray Oliver, grip. Jerickson, grip. Ayan, the correct answer is, grip. Next picture tayo. Naman, anong part ng badminton racket kaya ito? Yung tinuturo ng araw, ha? Let's see, tingnan natin kung sino yung mga nakapag... nakinig last meeting with Sir Paulo Punong Bayan. Parts ng badminton racket. Kanina, sabi, grip. Very good yung mga nag-comment, no? Tingnan natin to, yung next. Anong parts, anong part ng badminton racket to? Ano kaya tawag dito? Okay, comment, comment down lang kayo, ha? Tingnan natin. Ayan, mga nagko-comment na. Sabi, string. Strings, string area, sabi ni Rose Charlotte. Si Brianna, head. Ray Oliver, strings. Carl Christian, strings. Ayan, very good. Good job sa mga nakakuha, no? The correct answer is strings. O, next picture tayo. 
Uh, sabi ni Sam Joshua, string, strings, uh, Kel, Aidan. Okay, thank you sa mga nag-comment, no? Oh, next picture. Ah, medyo tayo bumaba. O yung part ng badminton racket, ano kaya tawag dito? This part. Anong, what do you call this? Sige. Uh, comment down ulit yung answer. Nasa review pa lang po tayo, ah. Review, recap. About uh, last topic. Sabi ni Freshus Love, Ramos, Shaf. Ronald Pascual, Shaf. Ayan, dumadami ah. Shaf, Jamie Rose, Shaf. Patricia Marie, Shaf. Okay, the correct answer. Bibil na natin, Shaf. Sa mga nag-comment, uh, thank you. Medyo dumadami na tayo. Sa mga listeners, next picture. Masama ng konti, kanina nasa gitna. Ano kayang party to ng badminton racket? Oh, si Brianna Rose Mendoza, Chef. Very good. Ray Oliver, Chef. Active si Ray Oliver. Kaya nyo pa nakikita to, ha. Chef. Cyril Jim, Chef. Okay, next picture na tayo, ha. Tingnan natin. Ayan na. Si Ronaldin na naman. Lagi na una. Sabi ni Ronaldin Pascual, throat. Throat, sabi ni Riza, si Gian, throat, T-joint. Yorick Kyung, throat, Aliana Malonzo, throat. Ayan, sabi ni Anthony Salamante, throat. Puro throat na sagot nila. Sige, reveal natin yung correct answer. The correct answer is throat. O, next picture tayo. Sa mga nag-comment pa, sige, comment na kayo. Tingnan natin mga, yung mga hindi nakatin last meeting, at least marireview pa kayo dito. Next picture, ano tawag dito? tinuturo ng araw. Kung kanina nasa loob, ito nasa labas naman. Okay, comment your answer, no? O, yun, iba, throat pa rin. Medyo, ano tayo? Eliza, throat. Ayan. De si Daisy Bibas, sabi head. Si Patricia Marie, head. Head. Daniel, head. Eliza, head. Okay, yung mga nakakakuha ng tamang sagot, no? Head. The correct answer is head. No? Okay, last picture na tayo. Ayan, itong picture na to, kabuuan na siya. Anong tawag dun sa kabuuan ng badminton racket? Medyo yung iba, advanced na, no? Nakita ko na yung sagot kagad, eh. Sabi ni Anthony, frame. Yung iba, nasa head pa lang. Medyo advanced mag-isip. Ayan, si Carl Christian, nasa head pa sila. Si Rochelle, head. Okay. Good job sa mga nagsagot kanina, no? Yung head. Tapos ito, yung last, ay, ano natin, last picture. Ano kaya tawag dito? Sa Yung kabuuan niya yan, kabuuan. Frame po, sabi ni Eliza. Frame, Riza. Daisy, Bibas, frame. Rocket, frame, frame. Ayan. Dumadami. Good job sa mga nakakuha ng sagot kanina ng head. Ngayon, reveal natin answer. The correct answer is frame. Iyan yung last yung last meeting niyo ab to uh, with Sir Paolo po ng bayan no. Okay. <clears throat> Proceed na tayo. Ito ngayon objectives natin. Ngayong araw na to. Understand the basic badminton rules and safety concerns. Number two, identify the different officials and their duties in badminton. Oh. Ulitin ko, objectives Understand the basic badminton rules and safety concerns. Identify the different officials and their duties. Ito, at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the lesson, dapat matayin natin ito. Paano natin mache-check kung natin ba natin ito? Mamaya, may assessment tayong gagawin kung masasagot natin. Ibig sabihin, natin natin itong objectives na ito. Okay, proceed. Bago tayo pala pumasok sa topic natin, I have your own activity called crossword puzzle. 
Pamilyar naman kayo, di ba, dito sa crossword puzzle. Pero ito, medyo marami lang itong ginawa ko. Sa cross, crossword puzzle na to. Ito yung skills uh, skills that you need in badminton o yung mga factor na sa tingin mo kailangan natin sa badminton. Or kung may makita pa ibang words sa screen, uh, chat down your answer lang. No? Or comment down your answers. Pwede na tayo. Okay. Ayan, medyo madami yan. Tingnan natin. Ipatin maigi. Linaw ng mata. Halos marami yan. <clears throat> comment your answer. Comment down your answer. No? Tingnan natin. Pabilisan ng sipat. Sipatin maigi, mga Del Pilar yan. Tingnan natin kung meron na. Motivation, sabi ni Freshus. Endurance, sabi ni Eliza, no? bibilis pala magsisagot. Endurance, sabi ni Moises. Stress reliever, ba? nakita yung mahaba. Sabi, si Ricky Rich, thank you sa mga nag-comment kagad. Mabibilis sumipat tong mga sudyante natin ngayon. Endurance, stress. Medyo yung kay Alexandra, may ano yung kaduktong stress reliever. Baka mamaya sabi niyo, badminton nakaka-stress. Endurance, stress reliever, sabi ni Sandra, daming dami sinagot. Motivation, stress reliever, balance. Yan yung mga nakikita nyo, uh, <clears throat> mga factor na sa tingin nat, uh, mga kailangan natin sa badminton pag maglalaro tayo. Footwork, sabi ni Patricia. Ah, medyo na iba iba nakikita na. Tingnan niyo din yung mga pa-reverse na letter ha. Ah. Ayun oh, Baban, meron din palang nakita Baban, Anthony Salamante, salamat. <laughs> Motivation sabi ni Z sabi ni Alexandra Zaira Lim Endurance. Balance, stress reliever, motivation, coordination kay Maria Dolores. Ano pa sa tingin niyo? Sige. Si Patin Maige. Footwork, endurance. Okay, mga active yung mga sadyante natin ngayon. Pagkasipatan, magagaling. Endurance, footwork, sabi ni Hana, Sheila. Okay. So, yun yung mga nakita yung word dyan sa crossword, no? So, i-reveal ko na yung nasa loob. Agility, speed, Endurance, motivation, coordination. Yung iba, hindi nyo nakita, hindi nyo nasipat. Ano? Power, happy. Yung nilagay ko si happy, mama i-explain natin. Balance, stress reliever, footwork, grip, stance, flexibility. Agility, bakit agility? Di ba pag naglalaro tayo ng badminton, uh, ano ba meaning ng agility? Di ba yun yung changing, changing direction? Di ba sa badminton, pag ano doon yung shuttle cock, lilipat kagad tayo ng katawan natin, iikot kagad tayo. Speed. Speed in a way na yung sa footwork natin, ayun, medyo nagsama sila speed. Yung sa footwork natin, kailangan ng speed. Hindi pwedeng babagal-bagal sa badminton. Endurance. Siyempre, kailangan natin ng endurance. Motivation. O motivation, yan yung motivation to win. Kung maglalaro ang badminton, siyempre, kailangan ang goal mo, manalo. Paano mo mamotivate yung sarili mo? Discarte nyo na. Then, coordination. Coordination in a way na pwedeng sa coordination kayo ng partner nyo or coordination with the I Then yung physical, ano mo, kung halimbawa papunta, halimbawa, yung shuttle ka papunta ron, coordination ng eye, then yung footwork mo, then yung katawan mo. Then power. Yung power, saan papasok sa badminton? Yung sa smash, no? Kung yung iba dito, uh, varsity siguro ng badminton, naglalaro, okay. Uh, medyo familiar sila doon sa smash. Happy. Pag naglalaro, di ba, ng badminton sa backyard, di ba, talagang nakakatawa. Nakaka, uh, nakakula ng stress. Kaya stress reliever. Balance. O balance or stance. Diba? Kailangan ng balance ito dahil kung hindi, mahirapan kang habulin yung shuttle ka. tutumbat tumba Then, footwork. Grip. Yung sa grip, yung tamang paghawak, forehand, backhand, no? Then, stance. Yun yung isa balance ka. Then, flexibility. May tanong pa ba tayo dyan about sa crossword natin? Kung hindi nakita, pwede natin balikan. Makikita nyo yun sa module natin itong susunod, no? Dahil yung mga nasa G-class. Ipopost natin tong ano natin. Okay. Uh, punta tayo sa topic natin. Rules of the game. Rules of the badminton game. Ano nga ba yung mga rules sa badminton game? Any idea about the rules of the badminton? Sige, tingnan natin. Ito yung the court and net. Yung mapapansin nyo, kung naka-attend kayo last meeting with Sir Paulo, pinakita niya to. Yung, yung mga line, sukat, 
kung saan kung saan nalilinya no then yung bawat ano may sukat yan medyo maraming number talaga sa badminton yung sukat okay the court and net the court shall be a rectangle marked out with the lines 40 mm wide as shown in diagram A yung pinakita natin kanina kung babalikan natin yung court rectangle no kung pamilyar naman kayo diyan yung mga naglalaro dati yung wala pang pandemic sa JK sa doon sa Megasolinahan, halos naman kayo dyan, pamilyar na sa court ng badminton. Then next, the lines marking out the court shall be easily distinguishable and preferably be colored white or yellow. Balikan natin yung diagram, no? Nakita niyo yung linya niya, white, para mas kitang-kita, white or yellow, yung mga light color, para mas sipat na sipat ng mga umpire or referee yung linya. Next, all the lines shall form part of the area which they define the post shall be 1.5 meter 1.55 meters in height from the surface of the court and shall remain vertical when the net is trimmed dun pa rin tayo sa the court and net the post shall be placed on the double side lines as in the diagram a respective or whether singles or doubles is is being played the post or its support shall not extend into the court beyond the sidelines kung makikita nyo yung sa post ng badminton hindi siya pwedeng pumasok dun sa linya na yon balikan natin yung diagram nakita nyo yung post halos na sa doubles sideline for doubles andon kailangan andun doon lang yung post hindi siya pwedeng pumasok no balik tayo dun sa the court and net next the net shall be made of fine cord of the color and even thickness with a mesh or not less than 15 mm and not more than 20 mm. Familiar na sa net ng badminton. Meron naman tayong ginagamit ng net ng badminton. Kung halimbawa sa school, sa official kasi, yung net talaga, uh, makakapal yun. Pero ipag sa school, yung mga, kumbaga, masasabi nating class A. Pero meron din naman tayong original na net sa school. Kaya lang ngayon, pandemic, kaya sa backyard lang tayo, sa, dyan lang tayo, sa bahay lang natin. Next, the net shall be 760 mm in depth and at least 6.1 meters wide. O, yung haba. The top of the net shall be edged with 75 mm white tape doubled over a cord or cable running through the tape. This tape shall rest upon the cord or cable. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung net, di ba yung pinakadulo niya, may white. Namaya, pakikita ko yung net meron dyan. The cord or cable shall be stretched firmly. Flash with the top of the post. The top of the net from the surface of the court shall be 1.52 meters at the center of the court and 1.55 meters over the sidelines for doubles. Ay, ito yung sa net na sinasabi ko. Yung ay puti sa dulo. Uh, pag, uh, there shall be no gaps between the ends of the net and the post. If necessary, the full depth of the net at the end shall be tied on the post. Uh, mas maganda kasi naka-stretch out yung net na yan, hindi siya lundo. Kaya may hinihila yung parang ano yan eh, sa ilalim. Pag maglalagay kayo ng net, kung mapapansin nyo, kung pamilyar kayo sa net, pag nagkakabit kayo, hinihila sa ilalim, ini-stretch out yon para diretso siya, na mag walang gap. Sa poste lang siya, tapos yung sa net, nakaduktong. Mas maganda kasi yon walang gap siya, hindi lundo. Okay, malinaw sa sa tayo sa the court and net. Kung may question kayo, pwede nyo i-comment down dito. Uh, babalikan, babalikan natin mamaya kung may time pa tayo. Shuttle. Ito yung shuttle. The shuttle shall be made of natural and or synthetic materials. Ito yung shuttle cap. From whatever material, material the shuttle is made, the flight characteristic generally shall be similar to those produced by a natural feather. Shuttle with a cork base covered by a thin layer or leather. Okay. Feather shuttle. Ito yung natural, no? Yung feather shuttle. The shuttle shall have 16 feather sticks in the base. Ah, so, kung mapapansin nyo, meron talagang standard yung shuttle cup. Dapat 16 feather siya. Tapos, anak fix na siya. Then, the feather shall have a uniform length between 62 mm to 70 mm when measured from the tip of the top of the base. Mapapansin nyo, di ba, kung mga naglalaro kayo ng badminton, 
nakaka-affect yung pag nasisira na yung uh, feather nung shuttlecock, di ba? Minsan, pag bago pa yan, umiikot pa yan eh, yung shuttlecock natin. Pero pagka sira-sira na, yung medyo uh, may mga sira na yung feather, di ba ang bilis niyang bumagsak? Nawawal, yung, na-apektuhan na yung flight niya. Yung minsan, titirahin mo ng pataas, napakabilis bumagsak, napakabilis din tumaas. Dahil nga, yung feather niya, may damage na. Hindi na yung, hindi na nakukunin yung 16 feathers. Minsan nga, na, 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 ano na ng feather. Then, the tips of the feather shall lie on a circle with a diameter from 58 mm to 68 mm. The feather shall be fastened firmly with thread or other suitable material. Okay. Oh, ulitin ko lang ulit ah. Yung, kasi mamaya sa assessment, baka mamaya di nyo masagot. Yung uh, shuttlecock pala, merong 16 feathers. Then nakaka-apekto yun pag um, sira ni 16 feathers. Kaya yung flight ng shuttlecock, medyo bumibilis na pag sira na yung feathers. Feathered shuttle pala yun. The base shall be 25 mm to 28 mm in diameter and rounded on the bottom. Yung ayan, nakita niyo sa screen yung shuttlecock. Rounded yung bottom niya. Then the shuttle shall weigh from 4.74 to 5.0 grams. Non-feathered shuttle, ito yung mga synthetic or plastic. The skirt or simulation of feather is synthetic material shall replace natural natural feathers. Kung nakakita na kayo nito, yung pag-wibli kayo ng badminton sa bayan, yung sabihin natin mumurahin, may pasunod silang synthetic na shuttle cup. Pero meron din naman na synthetic na medyo magandang klase. May tanong ba tayo? Pag may tanong, comment down again. Or you can mag-post kayo sa G-Class natin kung may mga tanong kayo para at least mababalikan ko pag chinect ko yung G-Classroom natin or kahit na si kanino ko yung teacher sa PE. Next, officials and their duties in badminton. Oh, ito na yung mga officials and duties in badminton. Kung yung iba familiar, yung iba hindi rito. Kasi ang alam lang natin, referee lang sa badminton. Yung iba, referee lang. Okay, referee. Overall in charge of the tournament or event of which a match forms a part. Yun yung referee. Siya yung overall in charge. Umpire. Reports to act under the authority of the referee and is responsible official in the absence of the referee. The umpire is in charge of the court and its immediate surrounding. Kung halimbawa, uh, yun nga daw, yung pwede siya maging kapalit ng referee, yung umpire, or second decision kung hindi uh, nakita yung naging tawag dito, parang incident o anong nangyari sa badminton, puntos, hindi nakita ng overall in charge, pwede yung umpire ang mag-decide. Then, service judge. Shall call service faults made by the server should they occur. Yun nga, service judge. Kung halimbawa, uh, nag-service kayo, siya yung nagsasaltado ng fault. Service judge. Then, the last one is the line judge. Shall indicate whether a shuttle landed in or out in the lines assigned. Line judge. Sa badminton, halos maraming line judge dyan eh. Sa, parang sa volleyball din, may line judge din. So, yun, line judge. Na, uh, ano na tayo? Re ibalikan natin, no? Referee, umpire, service judge, then line judge. Sabi ko ito. Dito sa screen, makikita nyo kung ano yung mga pwesto nila. Nakikita nyo yung service judge. Doon, nakupulang siya. Then yung mga line judge, napakarami nila. Oh. Then yung referee. Then yung umpire sa kabilang side. Yung referee, makikita nyo si Mr. Ano ba ito? KFC. Siya yung referee. Paket na siya o papunta na sa pwesto niya. So, familiar na kayo. Ah. At least may idea kayo kung saan po may pwesto yung mga officials ng badminton. Merong service judge, umpire, nasa taas, referee, then yung line judge. Again, kung may question, pwede nyo i-post sa G-Class or you can direct message me on uh, my Facebook, Baban Mendoza. Sasagutin natin sa abot, natin, sa abot ng mga kakaya natin. Okay, proceed. Next, scoring system. Scoring system, tingnan natin. A match shall consist of the best of three games unless otherwise arranged. Uh, pag naglalaro ng badminton, uh, ang pinaka-common is <coughs> best of three. Uh, yung iba ginagawa, best of one. Pwede yun, internal arrangement. Kung halimbawa, napakadaming team. 
pwedeng halimbawa sa amateur lang, uh, lagong best of one lang, sa, sa sobrang dami kasi ginagawa best of one. Internal arrangement nyo yun. Then, ang pinaka-common kasi is best of three. To win a game, a player must reach 21 points. O, oh, yun sabi. Kailangan ng 21 points. However, if the game is tied at 20-20 or all 20, then you are required to win by two clear points. O, pag nag-tie pala ng 20-20, kailangan mo ng two clear points. So, ang dapat magiging score mo is 22 to 20. Ikaw ang mananal doon. Unlike most sports, however, if the score becomes umabot ng uh, 21-21, 22-22, 29-29, or all 29, the player of team to score 30 points will win the game. Kung sino una makapuntas ng 30 points, siya na yung mananalo. Pag inabot kayo ng all 29. Is that clear? Malinaw tayo doon, no? Then, the side winning a game shall serve this first in the next game. Kung nanalo ka ng first set, ikaw lang magpe-first service sa susunod na game. Next, change of ends. Player shall change ends at the end of the first game. Uh, first game, nanalo si Team A, change ends. Tapos, at the end of the second game, change end ulit. Change end ulit. If there is to be a third game, kung halimbawa, best of three lang, e na-itusiro muna, wala nang change end. Kasi nga, na-itusiro muna. Pero kung halimbawa, nag-all one kayo, change end. Kung abutin kayo ng game 3, dahil best of 3, if the third game when a side first scores 11 points, kung nakapuntos ka ng 11 points, change end uli. Kung sino unang makapuntos ng 11? Malinaw. Ulitin ko uli, ha? At the end of the first game, change end. Second game, change end. Depende kung may third game pa. Kung abutin ng third game, kung sino unang makapuntos ng 11, change end yon Player and match. Ito, makamil lang tayo mula nung week 1, week 2. Uh, mga kategory singles, one player on a side, doubles, two players on a side, mixed doubles, one male or one female partner opposing a male and female opponent. A match is won by winning two or three games. O, yung mga umaalis dyan sa teleradyo, baka mamay assessment yun, hindi nyo masagutan. Nangungunti ang viewers natin. Next, fault violation rules occurs if, ito, yung sa fault. On the service, any part of the racket head is higher than the server wrist and contact is made above the wrist. Sa pagsiservice natin, yung iba kasi, uh, ang, ang service nila yung overhand, yung pinapalong ganun. Hindi pwede yung ganun sa badminton pag uh, naglalaro na kayo. Tsaka yung hindi pwede mas mataas uh, above the waist, yung nakaganyan kayo service kayo, kailangan nakalebe lang, no? The service fails to cross the net or go into the proper service court. Ah, uh, nag kayo, hindi umabot. Fault or nag-service kayo, na mali, uh, kailangan kasi pag nag-service kayo, na singles, diagonal. Kung doon kayo sa may right, sa left nyo papupuntahin. After nun rally na, pwede nyo na kung saan nyo papuntahin yung shuttlecock. Kailangan sa service, kung nasa left side kayo, kailangan mapunta yung unang service nyo doon sa right side mo o sa opposing side ng kalaban mo. Kailangan doon siya sa right side. Then, pag naibalik ng kalaban mo, rally na kayo kahit saan na pwede. Malinaw tayo doon. Para yung iba, hindi nalilito. The fit of the server and receiver are not in the proper courts at time of service. O, oh, yun nga. Minsan, nakaapak na sila sa linya, nag-serve para sila. Na tinatawagan ng fault yun. Next. The server hesitates or stops paint box. The service motion or misses the bird. Kung halimbawa nag-service kayo, hindi nyo tinamaan yung bird. Yung bird, yun yung shuttlecock. Hindi nyo tinamaan, fault na yun. So, the bird hit into the net, under the net, against the wall, or ceiling is out of bounds. Kung nag-service kayo, hindi, hindi lumagpas sa net, under the net, sobrang taas, sumama sa kisame, out of bounds, Ayan, fault. A player hits the bird before it crosses the net. Kung ba nag-service, sinalubong ka agad. Sinalubong ka agad ng kalaban nyo. Ayan, fault din yun. Kaya nyo munang lumapit sa inyo yung shuttlecock bago nyo. Hindi pa nakakalagpas dun sa net. Kumbaga sa ano, parang overreaching. The bird touches a player or clothing. Tumama yung shuttlecock sa katawan nyo o sa damit. Fault. Malinaw. Kung may question, sabi ko, pwede nyo i-comment. Uh, pwede nyo sa G-class. Sa G-Class natin, ha? G-Class, baka mamaya, G-Class ang pagkakano nyo, ha? G-Class, sa Google Classroom natin. The player touches the net while the bird's in the play. O, 
Kung yung katawan mo naman, tumama sa net, fault. Uh, the bird is hit twice in succession by one or both partners. Uh, kailangan maibalik nyo kagad yung shuttle sa kabila, hindi pwede yung dalawang beses na titirahin. No? Uh, you, uh, yung nga sabi dito, the bird hit twice. Valuation na yun. So, score na nung kabila yun. Kahit doubles kayo, hindi pwede siya set nyo tsaka papaluin. Kailangan maibalik na kagad sa kabila. No? Malinaw. The bird is held, caught, or carried on the racket when struck. Pwede yung na-stack dun sa pinaka-string o na-stack dun sa pinaka-net or pwede rin yung uh, yun na, carried on the racket when struck. A player of struck an opponent, yung pala, baka mamaya iniinis nyo yung kalaban nyo, violation nyo, hindi pwede yung magka-trust to ka, violation nyo, baka marinig yung mga officials, tatawagan tayo nun. Next, sa let's, ano ba tong let's sir? Let shall be called by the umpire or by a player if there is no umpire to help play. Yon, tinatawag ng umpire or player kung walang umpire. It shall be a let if, eto, yung mga conditiones, no? The server serves before the receiver is ready. Nag-serve ka, ay yung kalaban mo pala, nagsisintas pa o hindi pa siya ready. Yon, pwede tawagan ng umpire yun, let. Magkakaroon ng service. Then, during service, the receiver and the server are both faulted. O, yun nga, sabi, paano ba nagiging both faulted yung both player? Pag parehas lang nakaapak sa linya or yun nga, parehas hindi, hindi ready yung isa, tinatawagan ngayon ng fault. Ano pa? After the service is returned, the shuttle is on the net and remains suspended on its top and after passing over the net, is caught in the net. Yung na-stack sa net. During play, the shuttle uh, disintegrates and the base the base completely separates from the rest of the shuttle. Kung yun nga, sabi ko kanina, 16 feathers yun, naglalaro na sila, paubos ng paubos na yun, pwede itawag yun para palitan ng umpire yun. In the opinion of the umpire, play is disrupted or a player or opposing side is distracted by a coach. Limbawa naman, yung coach ang nagka-trash talk sa'yo, nakita ng official, tatawagan ng let yun, no? Let a line judge is unsighted and the umpire is unable to make a decision or any unforeseen or accident situation has occurred. Yun, tatawag ng let. Kung halimbawa, yung alignment just uh, di nakita yung pangyayari, ganun din yung umpire, o may aksidenteng nangyari, mga sitwasyon. Okay, clear tayo dun ha. Again, kung may question, pwede kayo mag-post sa G-Class or direct message me on Messenger sa Facebook. Any questions? O, oh, yun na tayo. Any question? Kung may tanong, sabi ko, comment down, tingnan natin. Pag wala kasi kayong tanong, pupusid na tayo. Ako naman ang magtatanong sa inyo. Pwede na ba kayo? Okay. Let's go to assessment. Ayan. Paulit-ulit tayo dito. Baka mamaya, hindi nyo masagot to. Oh. Pag nag-comment down kayo, pag nag-comment down kayo, dalawa sagot nyo, one and two. Okay. Number one. How many feathers do the shuttlecock have? A, 25. B, 16. C, 11. D, 21. Number two, how many points must be won by one player to complete a game? Ilang puntos daw ang kailangan para manalo? A, 15. B, 21. C, 11. D, 18. Comment your answer. Gawin niyo dalawang sagot na kagad. One, two. Para at least. O, oh, yun. Sabi ni, ni, ni Moises. Two, B. Si Angel Bernardino. One, B. Two, B. Rose Charlotte. B, B. Okay, very good sa mga nakaantabay pa rin dito. Ano? Job well done kayo. B, B, ba? Nakikinig. Yan ang sinasabi ko, yung assessment natin. Maria Dolores, number one, B, number two, B. Yes, the correct answer, Marjorie, B. Jerickson, B, B. Yung one, B, 16. Then, two, B, 21. Okay, next tayo. Overall in charge of the tournament or event. A. Umpire. B. Service judge. C. Referee. D. Line judge. He or she shall indicate whether a shuttle landed in or out the lines. Assigned. A. Umpire. B. Service judge. C. Referee. D. Line judge. Comment down your answer again. Tingnan natin. Let's see. Sino nakikinig kanina? 3 and 4 na tayo. 3 and 4. Kaya yung sagot nyo kanina, 1, 2, 
Sabi ni Christian, 1C, 2B. Okay, 3 and 4, comment your answer. Juliana Natividad, number 3C, number 4D. Okay, thank you. Eliza, oh, napaka-active napaka ni Eliza. Number 3C, 4D. Si Reyes, C, 3C, 4D. Maria Dolores, 3C, 4D. Fiona, si Eliza. Si Mark Hernandez. Si Kiel, si Angel. Si Gian, D. Lance, Luis. Okay. Tingnan natin kung tama ba yung sagot nyo. Ha? The correct answer is C, referee, then D, line judge. The overall in charge of the tournament or event, referee. Then he or shall indicate whether a shuttle landed in or out, line judge. Okay, kung may tanong pa tayo, sabi <clears throat> mag-comment kayo sa G-Class or kahit dito kung aabot natin. Assignment, uh, para next week may idea na kayo sa i-discuss natin. Uh, read about the terminologies of badminton. Yung mga terminologies of badminton. No? Okay. Para maging familiar na kayo, next meeting, uh, ano tayo, sagutan. No? Read about the terminologies of badminton. Okay, before we end this, uh, I would like to acknowledge our beloved principal, Dr. Maria C. Bibo, and our assistant principals, Dr. Joyce Ramos and Madam Gladys Bondo for the support and guidance. And also the team of Teleradio na walang sawang araw-araw para sa bata. No, headed by Bossing Vic, uh, Sir Makale. And also to the P teachers of senior high school, headed by the one and only Madam Cheche Santos. Thank you very much. Kung wala nang tanong, uh, thank you and God bless. Salamat sa mga nag-participate. Like, share, and subscribe nga pala sa every page natin ng YouTube channel, Teleradio Marcelo, ang telearalan ng bawat malalenyo. Baka hindi pa kayo subscribe like and share every page natin ng YouTube channel. Salamat sa inyo, sa mga nag-participate ha. Stand by tayo sa G-Class natin. Kung may question pa, pwede sa G-Class. Uulitin ko or i-direct message mo ako. No? Okay, goodbye and thank you. God bless. Ingat tayo palagi. Bye. Makinig manood na sa Teleradyo Makinig manood na sa Teleradyo 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 Marcelo Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid sa dagakibat ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo Kahit magkalayo sa programa ito, tiyak ang pagkatuto. Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo, Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo, Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo. Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo.